Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Journey Divine. I have a message that Spirit is trying to get out to someone. If you are here, it's possibly for you, beloved. Tap in. If it resonates, take the takeaway. If it don't apply, let it fly. But Spirit says, prepare to be located to calm the waters. Prepare to be located, relocated to calm the waters. Someone has gone through a season of separation after a period of continual tower moments, destruction, breaking down of systems, of connections, maybe loss of a job, a family member, a spouse, a child. Something has been taken away and moved away. There's been a lot of chaos, a lot of challenges. Arguments with family and friends, revelations, exposure, things coming to the surface, and you've decided you've had enough. It's time to move on. It's time to heal. It's time to grow, to find your own way. And Spirit says you're on the right path because it's cleanup season. Everyone can go. Everyone won't accept or appreciate the new you, the mature you, the taking back your power you, the confident courage that you will now keep around you to ward off being easily manipulated, used, abused, mistreated, taken advantage of. Those days are over and behind you. You've elevated. You've risen. It's time to say hello to the new you with pride. Now, this may relate to LGBTQ for someone watching. It's time to raise your head, stand in your power, love who you are. Be grateful for the skin you're in and that you are alive to live a life of luxury and beautiful new beginning. Or this just may be it's time for you to no longer fall prey to the judgments of others, friends and family, to stand on your own two feet, to no longer care about decisions made in the past that didn't work out, fails, no shame, no guilt. You're exactly where you need to be. Yesterday is gone. As soon as you say it is, put the past behind you. Let it go. Walk away, close the door, lock it and throw away the key. That life exists no more. Talk to trusting friends and family. You have support. Healthy boundaries are good, but building up a wall of offense to defend energies that haven't even approached for fear of going through that experience again. Only manifest that experience again. <laughs> so you have support of loving ones around you. Make a list. Check it twice. Find out who's noisy and nice. Who stays, who goes. But when it comes to your person, there is no decision. There is no confusion. There is no weighing option, options. There is no juggling. He or she is not the one, and you know. This ending may have caused you the most pain. This transformation have put you through the most discomfort in shedding that old toxic connection, codependent relationship, that trauma bond, you know, that Bonnie and Clyde, that ride or die. We ran until we burned the wheels off. And found out we had nothing to show. It never really grew. It was a distraction. Spirit says, check your friend zone. For those of you that know, you know. You may have a snake in the grass. This could be someone that's connected between you and your person that you separated from. That's running interference, gossip, drama. 
Like you may have a friend in your zone, but it's not a friend. It's a listener. Is a news gatherer. Stop listening and ask for yourself because someone is lying. Yeah, that person that you may talk to often, that you may confide in, that you may think you can trust, maybe running back and forth. But by the time you get the story, you're getting another version causing mischief. Adjudication is in session. For some of you, you have a court case going on, or there will be one coming, if not one pending. Someone is planning on lying, not telling the truth, not admitting, not coming through for you. So be careful who you trust and who you share information with. Because there will be adjudication in session, if not already. Your name will be come up. You may be told to come in to testify, to speak, to confirm, or dispute some information. They want to be more than friends. Weigh your pros and cons. If you got an ex that claims... You can restart, hit the restart button. Let's just be friends and learn each other again. That is not their true motive. That is not their true motive. They only come in to stop you from moving on to the next and best and greatest. Because they're bitter that they have not been chosen. Or they, they now have to chase. And they feel they should just be chosen. Or this friend that you have, that you in a non-sexual relationship with, wants to be more than friends. But you need to figure out if it's best for you to move beyond the friendship. Or keep it where it is. Moving on, in a, including sexual energy, may cost you the friendship. And it may not be worth it in the end. Okay, that is your message for someone. I hope you got your takeaway, your bits and pieces. Please hit that like, thumbs up, share the video, comments. Subscribe, join the family, come back again, hit the notification bell. If you need a more personal reading, you have questions, book a reading. Everything you need to know is in the box below through my website or email, whichever you choose, you can reach out. Donate. I'd love to be gifted by you for the energy you receive. Reciprocation and equality are a seed that grow abundantly for all those involved. Consider gifting your readers for their time, for their energy. For most, this is the nine of five. This is how they feed. This is how spirit blesses. And you are a disease. And we all are connected and rooted to a bigger plan. That's why we are here, gathering together. But you have a decision to make. You have choices. You have options. You have connections to reconsider. You have things to figure out. Do the work and do it now. As my dog is aggressively approaching, something is approaching. Emotions are running high. The clock is ticking. Court is about to be in session. Cross your T's and dot your I's and get ready to reevaluate your connections. Move in silence. Pay close attention. Until we meet again, I wish you all the love, peace, and happiness your heart and hands can hold and every spiritual blessing that can come your way. We reap what we sow. So may you have the day you deserve it in every way. Good day, my friend. Ashe.